Welcome to Women of a Certain Age, where I'm trying to stay young through potions, unguents, and sleight of hand. So if that's you too, welcome to my channel. Today, I have a new wig. It is Wavy Day by Raquel Welch in Rusty Auburn. And I ordered this back in November. It's been on back order because everyone else seems to want it too. So uh, I'm going to put this on. I haven't looked at it. Um, you're going to experience first impressions with me. And then what I'm going to do is through the magic of film editing, I am going to snap my fingers and it's going to be three months later. And I'm going to tell you what it was like to wear this, especially it'll probably be in the warmer months. So I can tell you if it feels cool. Oh, wow. Okay. It's very light. It is very light. I'm like, wow. I'm not having brushed this out yet. This is really pretty, isn't it? Wow. And this color. Listen, I always say in my reviews, if a color looks like it's achievable in real life, sometimes you want a wig that's dramatic and it's, you know, for a special occasion. But most of the time, you're going to want a color that looks like you either got it at a salon, at home coloring, or it's your own hair color. And uh, this is Rusty Auburn. I did a, I did a review for Raquel Welch Iced Pumpkin Spice, which is a more intense, dramatic color, but it still looks achievable if you went to a salon and paid about three hundred dollars. Um, Rusty Auburn, I I picked this color because I wanted, I love Iced Pumpkin Spice, but I wanted um, a, a more realistic, everyday, running chores running errands color and this is it let me do a spin a right out of the box spin for you if i can spin and again this is unbrushed haven't done anything isn't this pretty it's so pretty i'm so happy so let's talk about this density. It's very light, very low density, which those of you who've followed my reviews, you know I like a low density wig. I just think it's more realistic. I also love a part that is a little, is not very tight, tightly woven. Um, it, that is more realistic as well. So. I'm trying to feel for permatees. No, and you know, the wefting is, is open. So that, that tells me the low density, open weft, it's gonna, it's probably gonna be cool because Simmer, which I have, uh, and there's a review for Simmer on my channel, um, that ha was my summer wig last year. And uh, it was very cool, did well in the summer, summer weather and I was I was in some heat with that one um, this I think is gonna fall right in lines a little longer than simmer which is what I wanted that one was a little too short for my personal taste and who I view you know we all view ourselves in a certain way and we all feel comfortable with a certain color on in a certain length but I like to try different things sometimes uh, simmer great summer wig but a little too short for me. So I wanted a little something a little longer, but still cool enough for summer. And I think this is gonna fit the bill. Okay, I'm trying to get rid of the zigzag. I'm trying to part it for you so you can see what the, so we can see what the, why do the manufacturers zigzag these parts? <laughs> because it's so hard to get it unzigzagged. But I'm a trying trying for you with new wigs like this especially if it has like a beachy wave 
I really don't want to brush it out because through wearing it time and time again, the it's, you know, and, and running my fingers through it, things are going to relax. And I, listen, these heat friendly fibers are, uh, they're very delicate. These wigs do not last as long as, as regular synthetic wigs and they're much more expensive. So I really try to baby it as much as possible and not do a lot. So Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I'm I'm really happy with this and I haven't even done my three month wear yet. So let's look at this lace front. Now again, I have a big head. It's 22 and a half. So, but no one's gonna see that. Unless you're gonna pull your head back, your hair back. That kind of thing doesn't bother me. Now, I haven't adjusted the straps, and what I normally do, if, if this, this isn't tight on me, but it feels snug. And if a wig feels too snug, I will cut those straps in the cap so that it gives me a lot of expansion. Okay. So let's look at this. Look at how beautifully done that is. I'm going to come in close so you can see. So the the top is open so you can part it on either side or in the middle. I have to be honest with you. And you know I will be honest with you. I haven't found anybody to beat Raquel Welch wigs yet. I have other wigs. I have Beltress, I have Jean Renault, and I have uh, Aesthetica. Jean Renault has come, like, I, I find myself for realism and coolness and low density and, and all of that and comfort. Um, Jean Renault and Raquel Welch, but no one's beat Rocco Welch yet. And I'll take that challenge because I love wearing wigs and I'm going to try as many as I possibly can from as many brands as I possibly can. And so through the magic of YouTube, it's going to be three months later and I'm going to tell you how this wig did. Hi everybody. So it's been two and a half months. And I am reporting back with my thoughts on Raquel Welch's wavy day. As you can see, I have now parted it in the middle. <laughs> I wanted to part it on the side, but I don't know. This this everyone else's uh, reviews of this wig, it's all parted on the side. I couldn't see it. Did she, mine didn't seem to want to live on on the side. It wanted to live in the middle. Uh, I'm not sure if that's greatest look for me. Please let me know if it works. Um, but I'm going with it. And uh, so, okay, so here's my thoughts on Wavy Day. Um, she is very comfortable. She is not hot. Uh, she looks natural. The color is natural. The rusty auburn. Um, it looks like just regular hair. It's not really glamorous. It's, uh, it's just your everyday pretty hair put to kind of put together, um, look. So I'm happy with that. She isn't itchy. Um, very light on my head. Like it, I, I, I'd be fine walking around with this on my head for hours and hours and hours and hours. Uh, you know, the great thing about Raquel Welch's wigs is they f kind of f form to your head. It it gets to know, um, they have this special wig cap um, where it gets to know your head and will form to that. So, um, very comfortable, lightweight, not hot, 
It's going to be a summer wig for me, along with Simmer. Uh, is it as cool as Simmer? Which I will link right here, or it's in the description box. Um, no, it's not as cool as S Simmer because it's a little longer. It's going to be on my neck a little bit more. So there's a little bit more hair. Final thoughts. I love this wig. I love this color. I feel confident in this wig. I feel like no one's looking at this wig and thinking it's a wig. I go everywhere in this wig and I feel um, secure, confident. I feel like my hair looks great and it looks like it's my hair. I think the color is stunning. Um, I've seen people looking at my hair uh, and not in a way like, oh, is that a wig? They're looking at it like, wow, she has pretty hair. Um, I think the color is extremely flattering and makes you stand out in a crowd without being too loud and boisterous. Just very subtle, classy beauty to this wig and to the and the color of this wig. Um, I give this a thumbs up. This is beautiful. It's comfortable. It's cool. Um, it's just a wonderful wig. This is a great wig. Hey, I forgot to add, if you like the way I did my makeup in this video, I did a video on this. It's a everyday, soft, natural glam look for like running errands or going to the gym or something. Uh, and that is, I'll put that here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, give me a like, a subscribe, share this with somebody who might benefit from this information <laughs> on, on my particular kind of wig reviews. Uh, I hope, uh, I hope this helped. I had fun doing this for you and hopefully I can bring you more. So have a, listen, shine your light because the world needs it. Bye.